Hi YouTube and welcome to another video. Today I am going to put together another notebook and show you some other things that I have been working on. But you know how we do. We get to the word of the Lord and then we get into our projects. So today the word of the Lord, I'm going to be using this 40 Days with Jesus book that I found in my craft room because I have the word of God all over my house <laughs> everywhere and I read from different versions. So let's get to the word of the Lord. Today we're going to take um, a scripture from Psalms 91, 11 through 12. And it says, for he will give his angels a special charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service they shall bear you up on their hands lest you dash your foot against the stone and that is the amplified version of the bible and that is psalms 91 11 and 12 and yes i do read out of different versions of the bible um because it helps me to study and understand the word more i uh, facilitate a bible study um from September to May of every year and I have for the last 15 years and a lot of times the women who are in my group I usually get anywhere from 9 to 15 women every year <clears throat> and usually they ask me Marilyn what version of the Bible um, should I use and I'm like whatever version that you feel like you're going to read I don't want to tell you to read the King James because it may be too hard for you to understand but you might want to pick up the message or you might want to pick up the New Living Translation or I tell them to get a parallel Bible, get the New King James, and then get another Bible that's simpler side by side. So, it, you know, the King James gives you like a greater context, but the other version will make it easier for you to understand. So if you <clears throat> get the King James, that's fine. But um, if you're going to read the King James Version and you're a new believer, I think you should have another version to give you more of an understanding but that's just <laughs> that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day but anyway so what we're doing today i'm making another notebook and this is going to be the notebook it still has the masking paper on there and um <clears throat> i'm making this notebook for my cousin uh she usually takes me and my husband to the airport whenever we're going anywhere and um, we're going on a trip, so she's going to be taking us to the airport when we go. So when she, uh, when when we do go, I'm going to be um, presenting her with this book as a thank you gift. <clears throat> so I'm going to work on that. I also, while I cut that, I ended up cutting <clears throat> this um, slot sizer, and this is um, a slot sizer which is free to help you with kerf. Um, <clears throat> this is free from Mark Collier's website, Big Blue Laser Designs, and all of the etching is supposed to be engraved. But like I said, if I don't need to spend all that time engraving, I will just score it. So I scored it because it, when I was going to engrave it, it was going to take way longer. So I scored it and it took 10 minutes off the cut. So scoring is fine. <clears throat> Also, I cut some uh, <clears throat> some of these little honeycomb pins, and, and and this is what why you mask because you see all that burnt. But if you take off the paper, you see the wood is not all charred up and burnt. But if I didn't mask it, then it would look like that when I took you know it would look like that all the time. So I try to mask my wood so it, it comes out nice. So I have <clears throat> a whole box to take the paper off. But that's a project for another day. <laughs> also, um, I'm going to be working with a friend. Um, she's going, I'm going to be doing, she's going to be doing a fundraiser for her school. So she wanted me to make some ornaments. So I cut out this ornament and I'm going to cut out like, three or four more so the people will have a, um, choices a variety and we're going to be working on this project together so these will be in my Etsy store along with a, a, um, a couple of other choices <clears throat> and I also uh, it, I'm going to add one of these to Addie's um, to her book 
I think I'm going to add this one. Um, I thought about this one, but I think it's a little long. It's a little long. And I'll show you, I have a project that I attach these to, not the notebooks, but I have a different project that I attach these to. So that project is coming up as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, anything else on my desk over here? And, and this project right here, all of these elements that I cut this on the Glowforge, these were all scraps from other projects. This was pieces of wood that I had left over that was already painted and everything, and I just used it to um, do this project. So I'll be using some of my scrap wood for that project. <clears throat> oh, and then I'll show you the... Um, these are the covers for the notebook that I'm working on. This is going to be one and has 15 pages in the middle. And this is another one. And I already did the, doing the holes and all of that. I already did that part. Because you already saw me do that in the other video. And then this is another one. So I'm going to be doing that. And then I'm going to be putting this on the cover again. Um, and then I'm going to be binding it <coughs> with this. I was going to use this, but this is only three quarters. I got this on sale a long time ago. Um... I think a Tuesday morning or Michael's or something like that. And so I'm going to bind it with this because it gives you way more room. Let's see. And then, like, when I do all the paper, I get this other half of paper. So I'm probably going to make a smaller notebook, make it just a little bit smaller so I can use all this paper for something else. Or I'll be putting it in another book because I make a different kind of book as well. So I might put it in there. But that's that. And then I cut this one wrong. I didn't have my settings right. So it punched this one not right. So I'll save that paper for another day. <clears throat> Let's get started. And then, oh, I'll be using probably my Gorilla Tape to maybe get some of the, um, if all of the masking doesn't come off when I go to unmask this. So let's <clears throat> get down here. Let me. Grab that a little bit closer. Let's see. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'm, again, I'm using my pen pen tool. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I am getting ready to go out of town, so I'm trying to get all my laundry done, mop all my floors, clean my bathrooms. So when I come back, <clears throat> everything is nice and clean because uh, I'm not sure if we're getting back at night or in the day. A lot of times we'll get back at night, and I like to just get in the bed and have a nice clean bed. So, yeah. So what are you guys working on? Hopefully you guys are working on some, some projects. What are you guys doing for Christmas? What are you going to be selling? Um, do you have an Etsy shop? If you do, leave it down in the comments and I'll go check out your Etsy shop and favorite your shop if you have one. Um, so yeah. I'm just working on these projects. I'm really enjoying um, this notebook file from Big Blue Laser Designs. He has um, he has a lot of um, great files. And he also has a Facebook group. So if you have a laser machine, or even if you don't have a laser, but you um, have like a Cricut, you could cut out some of this stuff with a Cricut as well. So you could cut out you probably could cut this out in vinyl <clears throat> and put it on um and put it on some type of notebook or something. So yeah, and I did this, I did the image in Silhouette Studio again. I like working in Silhouette. I have Silhouette Business Edition because 
I do have Silhouette Studio on another computer, on my MacBook, but I can't use the Glowforge with it because it's designer edition. And you have to have, um, you have to have business edition in order to use the Glowforge <clears throat> because you have to, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to be able to make a SVG. So since I don't want to weed out all this um, masking from her hair, I'm going to take some Gorilla Tape. going to cut me some pieces of this Gorilla Tape. And I'm going to use this to um, for her hair because I'll be here all day. <laughs> See how it pulls up? So you just use the Gorilla Tape and you just keep doing it until you just get all of the tape off. So I just try to find spots to keep pulling up as much as I can until the piece is no longer usable. Then I'll just get another piece and it'll just keep pulling up pieces of her hair. Gorilla tape is really sticky. Some people do it with blue painter's tape. I don't find that that works as well for me as the um, as the Gorilla tape. So I use the Gorilla tape, and that seems to work out a little bit better for me. So some of it I will, like her face, I probably could use the weeding tool to weed out. <clears throat> but if you have something that's really intricate and the pieces don't want to come up, then this is a way that you can get the pieces to come up. Is you can um, use, uh, like her face came up a little bit. So I will pull up her face. I don't have any nails. <laughs> so she still has <clears throat> some in her eye so I don't have to get it all I'll get some later but I've gotten the majority of it out her lip there's still something in her lip right there so I'll, it's a big piece so I'll weed that out <coughs> my throat is dry today so yeah <coughs> So I'm excited about the fundraiser project. I have not done any fundraisers before. Uh, my friend is a teacher at a school, and so they do fundraisers every year. And I've participated in some um, just because she's my friend. And um, so I'm excited, to that she wants to try to see my business succeed. So she's going to, you know, have her school do the fundraiser, and that's, I think that's great. So hopefully you guys have people in your life that supports your business. Addie, <clears throat> the person that I'm making the this for, she's my cousin. She's younger than me, but she is a she has a doctorate in education. <clears throat> and she um, is a teacher, a counselor, a life coach. <laughs> She is so much, and I am just so proud of all of her accomplishments. So, we've been close, you know, all of our lives. So, I always let her know how much I appreciate her and um, the paths that she took in life. I, I hated school. Addie loves school. I hated school with a passion. <laughs> with a passion. So... Now I'm going to take, um, and she's gone very far in school. So now I'm going to take <clears throat> this um, oil, and I'm going to rub it on the board. I don't think I have any. Oh, yeah, I do have some more. Try to get all of the little pieces that I see out before I do that. But then again, it may bring them to light too so let's see 
we're going to just squirt some of this onto this uh, paper towel. And I always use a paper towel. All the books that you see me use, I've used a paper towel. And I just let it soak into the paper towel. And then I just rub it over the book. <clears throat> so what's your favorite craft and how did you get... Um, involved in it or if you don't have a favorite just what some of the crafts that you like to do and how did you get um, started my favorite I can't really even say that I have a favorite <laughs> because I just have so many different crafts and that's why I'm not trying anymore I'm not like getting DTF machines and getting all that kind of stuff because I don't want to spend more money on more things it's like i just i'm overwhelmed already with the things that i already have <clears throat> um so yeah but um right now it's like i'm not interested in getting more crafts i'm just interested in doing the crafts that i have as you can see this room is full of stuff i used to do embroidery a lot i don't do it so much anymore but i have a room full of thread and embroidery. I have a whole drawer over there full of all kinds of embroidery designs. And um, I have beads and yarn and scrapbook paper and binding machines. And I have just so much stuff to, it's like I don't want to get involved in anything else. Um, at this point in my life, <laughs> um, I do enjoy crafting a lot, but it can be overwhelming when you have so much stuff and I have so much stuff, so I don't want to overwhelm myself any more than I am already. So tell me what you guys like to do. But one of my favorite things to do is crochet. I really like to crochet, um, on my downtown. I do have knitting machines, and I do like using my Addies, um, and I've used them in the past, but um, I really do like <clears throat> to crochet by hand, and um, when I go out of town, usually that's what I do, so when I come back, you'll probably see a bunch of crochet um, <laughs> items when I come back. So let's go ahead and um, get this book put together. So I'm just drying off my hands. And let's see. I think I like this paper is my favorite. So I think I want to start with this one. Then I'll put in this one. Then I think I'll put in this one. And then I'll put in this one. So each one of these sections has 15 pieces of paper in it. And I think that is, let's see, I want to, yeah, I want to do that. <clears throat> so I hope Addie likes her book. I hope you enjoy these process videos. And, um, if you like a book, um, visit my Etsy store. I think the listing is already up. Um, and just keep in mind that these books are, you can take these wires out or even these kind of wires. You can unbend and you can put more paper in them. Um, I'll probably have a link to order more paper. And if you don't uh, want to buy more paper from me, what you can do is take one and once you take the book apart, you can um, take one of the papers and make some circles or, co you know, copy it. And then you can, um, you can, um, you can hole punch. And then you can make another book that way. Or if you have a Cricut or something like that, you might can scan it and then make your own. Or like I said, you can go to... Mark's video, I mean Mark's uh, website, and you can 
use the SVG and cut it, cut more paper on your Cricut. So yeah, let's cut this. Let's see, I think we're going to cut it. cut it up here so and I'll keep this and make a little small book out of that as well and then I like to take it and I like to bend this back a little bit I'll bend this back and then what I like to do is take and cross it over the first ring and then that way it keeps the book together and I like to do the same for the back. I'll just bend the back piece, bend it and cross it over, bend it down enough to keep it crossed over. And then there you have it. The book is bound. Now when you open it, it will lay flat. And there you have it. So there's our book for Dr. Ellis. And I hope she likes it. And so I think um, <clears throat> this key fob that I made, I think it's too long. It will hang down. It's longer than the book, even if I put it on the first one. Eh, so yeah, it's a little bit longer than the book. So I think what I'll do is I'll hang this one. See, it has some words. I think I'll hang this one on the book. Uh -oh. And then she could take it off, and then it can be a keychain, a key fob, or whatever. And then that is how I will present it. And I may still give her this one. I may just package it and... Um, something different. I bought some little bags from um, Hobby Lobby. Let's see, I'll get one for you. I bought these little treat bags from Hobby Lobby that you put, I think, pretzel sticks in them or something. It, that, at least that's what's on the cover. And then I can... How many come in there? It was $2.99. I think it was 50% off that week. And it's 50 in there. So I thought they were clear, but they're not clear. They're like the plasticky, but I'll have to just make it work. But I could put this in here. I probably will get a piece of scrapbook paper to put in there as well. So I'll probably put some scrapbook paper or either a plain piece of paper in there. And that's how I'll probably package these. And yeah, <clears throat> so there you have it. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you that um, these are some earrings. They're in my Etsy shop and I cut these as well on my Glowforge. So, I, um, so if you are interested in some of my um, black girl earrings go to my etsy shop get some for yourself get some for a friend and um yeah so i hope you'll visit my shop there you go and yes thank you for joining me have a blessed day and i will see you in the next video god bless have an awesome and an amazing day bye